So we uh, had some time to discuss primitive or built-in data types. Uh, data types such as uh, int, uh, character, uh, double, and so forth, right? So there's a whole bunch of uh, built-in data types. We've observed some library, uh, library uh, classes or standard library classes uh, like um, a vector and string that become extremely useful, right? They, they're becoming very useful uh, objects to contain uh, uh, text information or vector, which is like a multi-purpose container for strings, uh, other data types. We have also, of course, seen objects, objects like uh, C out, C in, C error, uh, and even C log. These are standard, uh, standard uh, IO stream objects. By definition, operating system provides every program with access to standard output, standard input, standard error output, and standard log. And uh, through these objects in uh, uh, standard library of C++, we get very, very simple access to these, uh, to these uh, facilities. So how about we design our own uh, data type, right? Uh, can we design it? Can we, can we specify our own data type? And also, why would we do something like this? We already have primitive data types. We already have uh, a predefined library objects. So essentially, you begin to realize that um, you typically manipulate a lot of uh, primitive values in memory. Uh, when we manipulate strings, we manipulate characters. When we do computations with integers, we use integer variables. But conceptually, right, uh, to use an example, maybe it would be, uh, so for instance, if we use month, which is uh, an integer, if we use a day, which is also an integer, if we use a year, I'll just say year, right here, if you use these types of concepts, uh, those are these three integers typically you use them together right if you if you try to define a concept of a calendar date which is relying on 12 months you know particular number of days and uh, the the whole uh, concept of years um, you you could uh, you know you, you realize that you always uh, use these three integers together uh, in fact to, um, the word together, uh, together in C++ means, uh, means the same, uh, the, the same scope. It even has a meaning in C++. And the scope is expressed in C++ like this, right? So in general, we use like curly braces to place something in the same scope as a single unit. So here's here's the example. We can say, um, uh, let's start with a struct. Struct date. Notice the set of uh, braces, which is the idea, right? To use something inside the structure as a single unit in one uh, one example of one one single scope one object right and here declare uh, int uh, month day and year as opposed to declare them declaring them outside of uh, you know as individual integers declare them as uh, three integers inside the structure Okay, and uh, syntactically, in C++, structure declaration, which involves keyword struct, then it 
then we have to provide the name for our structure and uh, provide the content, which is in my case is three integers. Uh, it requires a semicolon at the end. And we call this a um, declaration of the struct that we want to define. So, like I said, the initial idea behind this new thing that we're trying to explore is that we want to use three integer variables together. Together. It doesn't make sense to create a year as a separate variable and then, uh, you know, 100 lines of code later create month and day. We want to be able to create them and manage them as a single unit, all three integers. So the way to do this is just to declare them as a, as a structure. This is similar to Java class, right? In Java, we have a class and we, we define things together. Now, the next question is, how do we use uh, this struct? Right? Question mark. How do we use this structure? Well, in our int main, which we'll use as an example right now, right? Return zero is like a minimalistic version of it. What we do is that we use the structure as a brand new data type, right? So if we could say int month, int day, int year, now we just simply say date, which is the data type, and uh, today as a, as a name of the variable, right? And we can even initialize it, uh, provide uh, initial values to all of this by using a set of uh, values like, for instance, um, 3, uh, 9, 2020, something like this, right? So this line of code will create three of these integers in memory. Uh, all three of them are packaged as a single structure and we give them the name and here we provide uh, initial values and we initialize month day and year with 3 9 and 2020 besides that now we want to be able to display individual parts of the structure so what we can do is so uh, we can say stdc out and by the way of course we need to start including the necessary headers include io stream for example stream like this and um, we say um, we want to be able to display this uh, the content we we were able to display individual values like integers and strings now we want to be able to display it somehow so one possibility would be to say uh, today month and this way, by using the dot, uh, this is like member access uh, um, inside the, the structure today. We can say month, uh, we can print like conventional uh, forward slash, then say today uh, day, and then the year today year okay and then we can display new line and uh, let's build this just to see if everything holds together properly right just build uh, build this and uh, uh, see if it will all builds fine a missing semicolon somewhere um, see how to, 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 to. Uh, today, oh yes, right here. I need. I forgot to <laughs> insert one more output operator. This is fine. Okay, so uh, should be at no surprise if we run it. It prints uh, three nine twenty twenty like this. Right. So this is this is the real result of output uh, right here. 